coach uh, really starting to get into the uh, stretch run of the outdoor season. Uh, tell a little bit about how the uh, your distance group is, as a whole has kind of progressed uh, over the course of it's been at this point a, a pretty long season. Yeah, we have um, we've gotten to the point in the season where I think a lot of the the work they've put in from you know August till now is really starting to pay off, which is a really exciting thing, you know, because it's a long year for distance runners with cross country, indoor, and outdoor. Um, so you know, when they make it to this point, it's just like a really exciting thing because their times start dropping pretty significantly, um, especially for our mid distance group because you know they've done a lot of strength stuff and longer stuff in the you know early part of the year. Um, and so yeah, like we've seen, I think the really cool part about right now is we've seen um, like the emergence of some like new talent late in the year, and so. Uh, somebody that stands out is Alesha Volk. Like she is, was somebody who was, you know, important for us in cross country. You know, like she was a consistent, like top five performer. But as, you know, the year has gone on, she's really come into her own. And, you know, she laid down a really fast steeple time. She's actually PR'd by a minute um, from her steeple time last year to this year, which is like kind of unheard of. Um, and so she was 10.52 to open the season this year. She just ran 10.33 at Jesse Owens. So if she can continue that progression, um, pretty exciting things happening for her. Um, and really, you know, she's just a testament to like what, you know, can happen if you put in a lot of hard work from, you know, August all the way until May. Um, and so really exciting things happening for her in the future. Maria Scabuzzo is the same way. Um, Andrew Drew saying like people who, you know, were like factors for us in cross country, but are really shining on the track you know in their respective events so it's just been a culmination of a lot of hard work from you know the beginning until now. As a coach how satisfying is that to kind of see you know the light kind of go on and the look in their faces when you know they're like hey I can do this I, I get this and I'm seeing they're seeing that progress being made. Yeah I mean there's a lot of highs and lows in this profession for sure um, and whenever you see you know something working and you see you know a kid who's really buying in and improving a ton like that's what it's all about and that's you know what gets me here every day you know that's what the good parts of, of going to meets and you know seeing kids really improve um, and so yeah and, and you see it you know from in the way they sleep the way they eat you know what they're doing like outside of practice which is really cool whenever they see that you know everything they're doing is connected um, and can you know yield a really good result if they're all in like that's you know whenever you feel really successful as a coach. Closing out this month and going into the real uh, stretch run of May with the uh, Red Hawk invite this weekend, last home meet of, of the season. Uh, what are kind of some of the expectations uh, as this kind of really kicks off that stretch drive? Yeah, so we have, um, you know, some, some big I think some big performances still yet to come um, and you know this weekend's going to kick that off and so you know for our seniors this is our last time running at rider track um, and so we want to put down some good performances and the meet's actually shaping up to be a pretty good one so um, we're going to pace a couple pace a couple of events you know good team effort to make sure that you know we're running times that are going to be competitive in the MAC and then beyond you know getting into first rounds is always a goal um, at this point in the year so um, yeah like we have uh, the home meet coming up this weekend and then um, we'll split and go to Billy Hayes and UK next weekend um, so the meet at IU and then the meet at UK and then it's the MAC championships which you know the MAC uh, conference is really good, you know, at track. So we have a great opportunity to, you know, lay down some fast times there, you know, and, and, you know, you'll go to some conference meets and it's really tactical. And what I've seen and, you know, with the kids in the Mac is they want it to be fast and they want it to be honest. And so, um, we still have a lot of opportunity there to run really fast times to continue onto a postseason. Um, but I think it's just coming along really nicely and, you know, kids are just eager to compete, um, which is always a good thing. And so, yeah, really excited about, you know, where we're going and, and, you know, this weekend, especially moving forward. These next couple of weeks, what are some of the strategies as far as trying to uh, shave off those last couple of seconds and unleash uh, everybody at peak performance come uh, the MAC meet and hopefully beyond for a handful of athletes? Yeah, for a lot of them, this is their favorite part of the season because we're really, you know, dialing back the mileage. We are, you know, doing a little bit more speed work, so a little bit more, you know, fun, quick stuff at practice, which they all tend to really love. Um, and, you know, we've held off on that just to make sure that we're, you know, tapering correctly and really peaking at the right time. And so we're getting into some of that stuff now. And um, so you can just see kids, you know, have 
little bit more pop in their legs and just you know overall pretty generally excited to be a practice and you know see themselves getting faster and better so um, we'll focus a little bit more on you know tapering and recovery and things like that in the coming weeks um, and I think they'll really benefit from you know all the hard work they did early and you know be able to throw down some fast times. Last week you made your uh, season debut in uh, the 800 over at the Jesse Owens meet. How did you feel out there uh, getting out and putting out a time for the first time this year? Yeah, no, it was uh, it was exciting to be back for sure. Uh, missing seven weeks is kind of rough, especially uh, when it's the prime time for you know base building this winter. Um, but to run a 152 on four weeks of training, I'm certainly certainly happy with it. Um, it hurt. Uh, Hurt pretty bad that last hundred, um, but you know that was kind of to be expected with you know limited training. You're around a, a second off of your PR that you set last year over at uh, at Max. Uh, what? How encouraging is that with a few weeks ready to get ready for postseason competition to make even bigger gains for them? Yeah, um, I think it was super encouraging. Um, honestly, I didn't really know what to expect out of myself with such a limited amount of time to get kind of back into race shape. Um, I'm kind of hoping to just keep dropping time each of the next couple weeks before max and kind of see kind of see how fast I can go and how high I can place. How much of a grind has that, that been to work your way back in? And how much, what have you been doing to kind of get yourself ready to be in this kind of position that you're at where, hey, kind of the sky's the limit these last, yeah. these last month? Yeah. Um, no, especially senior year, it's, it's for sure been a grind. Um, I was probably spending between, you know, 60 to 80 minutes a day between the pool and the bike. Um, not to mention lifting from uh, February through April before I could get back out and running again. So it's been a grind, but you know I think I kind of learned a lot about myself in terms of how much time I'm willing to put in. And um, I think it was definitely a character builder in terms of just keeping a positive attitude the entire time and knowing that the, uh, the end of the tunnel is near, unfortunately, and um, certainly gonna try to do as well as I can at max in the next couple weeks. limited amount of competition for yeah practices. um for sure i'm definitely gonna miss uh good old george l rider um but yeah i've had some great times also some pretty painful times here in the last four years but um no i really i couldn't have asked for a better place to compete over the last four years and better teammates and coaches and it's really just been an incredible experience all right megan it's been a lot of miles uh since the, the fall and now you're getting, kind of getting down to the stretch run of uh outdoor season uh just take me through how this uh, season has gone for you personally so far. Uh, sure. I've had my fair share of setbacks. I was diagnosed with um, anemia earlier this semester, but I haven't let that or the iron deficiency thing um, hold me back. I've really been looking forward to hitting some regional marks, hopefully in the 800 moving forward. I have to run a, about a 208, 207, so we'll see what I can do hopefully in the future. But as far as the team goes, the team's looking really awesome going into conference. Um, over the next couple weeks, we've got some time to tune some things up, and uh, we have a lot of potential as, as a group as a whole. This uh, distance group has kind of developed quite a, a lot of depth. Uh, do you feel kind of that internal like push between everybody, a uh, healthy competition and, and practices that kind of help uh, bring down everybody's time to someone? Absolutely. We push each other every day to be the best versions of ourselves on and off the track. And I think that uh, embodies love and honor to its fullest. And I'm really grateful to be a part of this team. Uh, last hurdles to clear. Uh, last uh, home meet of the of the season coming on this this weekend. How much is everybody looking forward to kind of having fun out there at the at this track for the last time this year? Really excited. I have to say, as a senior, I can't believe I'd be in this position running my last home meet at Miami. But I'm excited. Hopefully, the weather holds up and we'll have an awesome weekend and run some really fast times. As we flip the calendar over into May, what are some of the things that? You're, you and everyone's working on to make sure that everybody's peaking come uh, the MAC meet and hopefully beyond for a lot of uh, competitors. Uh, sure, we're definitely fine-tuning some things, making sure that we're taking it a little bit lighter in the weight room, again, um, so that our legs are fresh and we'll have some more opportunities to hit those regional qualifying marks and overall just really excited to, uh, for the postseason.